Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. Today I thought we'd do a day in life, although it is already almost the afternoon. I thought I would still do a day in the life. We actually just pulled up to our friend's house. We are going to do a lemonade stand today. We've been wanting to do one for a while, and either our schedules have not been the same, or her daughter was sick, then Madison was sick, and also it's been raining a lot. So finally, we have a day where it's beautiful out. It's pretty hot right now. It's my car staying 91 degrees, so Hopefully we don't suffocate and we will see how many people we get for this lemonade stand. So that is what we're going to do and then we will probably head back home. Before I go home I want to stop by at the store and then we will go back home. Like I said I did put some food in the crock pot because I'll be here for a while. But that is what we're about to do so I will vlog all of that and the rest of the day since I'm trying to do another day in the life. You guys hard at work making the lemonade? Yep. It's like a waterfall lemonade. Mm -hmm. Hey Charlie. Hi. I'm squeezing the lemon. Oh, oh, there goes Sissy in the background. She's going to come and pull everything down, huh? She's going to come and pull. Here goes the lemonade stand, although hey, it's starting to rain. Here? Madison. Can you open these? Can open yeah, I'll these? open it in a second. Maddie. Mom, Madison's Mom, not very happy. She can open the Here goes Olivia. Yeah. And Ryan, Ryan, say hi. 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 This is their lemonade stand. We still have to write on the little stand, but the lemonade's in there. We have some cookies, their tip jar. Oh, Madison, no. Bubble, bubble. You can't do that. So we are now doing the lemonade stand, but it's raining. It's not pouring. It's just like raining a little bit. Madison's super cranky, so I'm going to have to go inside and get her some snacks. But no one has showed up yet. We just got out here. We've been out here for maybe two minutes setting up. And they are doing bubbles right now. Are you guys having fun? And here comes the rain more. Are they funny? Move it up. She just threw that paper on the floor and then laughed. You just threw that on the floor. She threw that piece of paper on the floor and then laughed after. Apparently something's hilarious. Look at those bubbles. Madison, are you just hanging out there? Hey, Maddie. Oh my God, a dollar. And the cookies are 25. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We'll just take that. He took it. We'll just take this, Olivia. We'll take a dollar. Okay. Where do we put it? You got to give him lemonade now. Yeah. No. You got to fold it. Like, this. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. And then you can put it in. Yeah. Can I put it in? Hey, guys. So, it's now much later. It is 520 to be exact. And... I just pulled up to Walmart. I need to exchange something really fast and then I want to pick up some things for dinner tonight. I'm making some burritos for dinner. I actually have some chicken, pulled chicken cooking in the crock pot, but we don't have sour cream and I really wanted sour cream for my burrito. So that's what we're going to get as well. And then we'll probably look around a little bit and head home. Cause like I said, it's already 520. Madison's pretty cranky. She's been crying the entire time we were at my friend's house. Um, Lemonade stand was not pretty successful because it started raining on us, so we didn't get anyone. It started raining and then the rain stopped. There was only two people who walked by us, but they didn't have money on us because they were jogging around the neighborhood. So yeah, the kids did not get any customers, but we did have my friend's husband come around and get some lemonade from them and pay for some lemonade. So we're gonna try it again, but this time do it at my house. <laughs> And we'll probably do that sometime next week. So we will see how that goes. But Oh no, she's so bad. Alright guys, I'm just going to head into Walmart and hopefully she behaves. And then I will see you guys at home if I don't vlog in Walmart. I don't think I'm going to vlog in Walmart. So I want to get in and out. What? Mommy said I can get something from Walmart. And I want to try. We're in Walmart now and I told Ryan he can pick out a car, Hot Wheel car. He has so many Hot Wheel cars and he's so obsessed with them. But I told him he can pick one out. But I want to show you guys. They have 4th of July shirts for kids. 
and I thought these were cute, so I'm gonna get them for the kids. So for Ryan, he has um like three pairs of blue shorts, so I'm not gonna get him any blue shorts to go with it because he already has three pairs. But I thought this shirt would be cute for him to wear on 4th of July, and these shirts are only $4.88, so that shirt for Ryan. And then I thought this shirt was so cute for Madison. I love off-the-shoulder shirts for myself and also Madison, so I'm gonna get her this one and then she has white shorts and jean shorts that will match with that as well uh, and then Mom, for myself it's yeah hard to pick. okay I'll help you in a second um for myself this has nothing to do with portrait light but I thought this was cute oh. if you guys have not checked out the time and true brand you need to check it out at Walmart it's a really good brand but it's just like this purple shirt and it has like that opening there and then I like how it ties in the bottom and I always get my shirts like two sizes up because I like them to be big when it comes to shirts like that and then what else do we have in here? And then I'm going to get Madison another bathing suit. She, I bought her bathing suit from Target that I really love. But she only has one bathing suit. And Ryan has two. And I think she needs two as well. So I bought her. I was going to get her a puff pig one. But I wasn't crazy about the design. But I found a Little Mermaid one. So I'm just going to get her this. And the bathing suit is, I think, 10, 1047. So really cute, Little Mermaid. And then the what? The light is distracting me. The light. Okay. No, the Legos. The Legos. Well, we're not gonna get Legos. We have enough Legos at home. But um, I don't have. Like, I know, but mommy's not gonna one. spend one hundred thirty dollars on Legos. So you can get the car, or you don't get anything, buddy. Okay. How about you choose one and then I choose one? Um. Madison's eating grapes. Uh oh, your shirt's coming off. Uh oh. Uh oh. You eating grapes? You don't feel good? You wanna go home? Hey guys, so we are now back home and it is past 7 o'clock. It is like 7.20 and we're finally home. I just put the kids in the bath right now. They are playing in the bubble bath. And then I'm going to get them out, get them into some nice, cozy, warm pajamas and then give them a little snack and then it'll be bedtime because their bedtime's at 8 o'clock. And um, tomorrow, I think we're going to go to the pool. So I had planned on going to the pool on Thursday, which is my birthday. But I checked the weather and the weather says it's a 90% chance of thunderstorms all day. So those plans are ruined, but I still want to go to the pool. So we're going to change up the plans and go to the pool tomorrow and spend the day at the pool tomorrow. Our neighborhood pool opens up at 9 a.m. But let's be real, I'm not waking up that early to be at the pool at 9 a.m. So I plan on getting to the pool at like 10.30, probably spend like two hours there. And then we can get home still pretty early and beat the crowd with the older kids get there. The older kids usually get there probably like around one or after one. I just want to beat that crowd off the older kids and also get home at a decent time where I can get the kids some lunch and put them down for a nap. I do want to film a video tomorrow. I want to film a refrigerator organizing video because my refrigerator needs help. It is a mess. So I figured if I'm going to clean it out and organize it, I might as well film a video for that. So that's probably what I'm going to do tomorrow. And yeah, um, for the rest of today, I'm just going to fold some laundry and then that's about it. I don't have to cook dinner. I did put some chicken in the crock pot before we left to our friend's house because I knew we would be gone pretty much the entire day. So I'm gonna make some burritos for dinner tonight. Um, so the chicken's already done. I just finished shredding it up and it's just going to stay in the crock pot to stay warm. And yeah, that's going to be the rest of our day. I'm sorry I didn't get too many clips today, um, but we were with friends, we were hanging out, so I didn't wanna have my camera out for too long. And annoy them with the camera in their face so like i said i hope you guys still enjoyed today's day in the life um might vlog a little bit more before they go to sleep so we'll see but i know i do need to fold some laundry taking a bath maddie madison madison likes to ignore me what's that did you have fun today buddy i look at the helicopter you didn't answer my question did you have fun today with bolivia
just wanted to jump in here really fast to end yesterday's day in the life vlog. I never ended that vlog. So I thought I would jump on here really fast to end that day in the life vlog and also talk to you guys about a tea that I have been drinking for the past two weeks. Before my review starts, I just want to let you guys know that this video is not sponsored in any way, nor will I get any type of commission if you guys decide to purchase this tea on your own and I am not getting paid to make this review. So if you guys decide to purchase this tea, just know that I'm not getting any type of money from that purchase. So these are my honest and real review on this tea. Now the tea company is called Thin Tea. They reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in testing out their tea and then reviewing it for you guys. And I said yes, because if you have been following me for a while, you will know that I love tea and I love coffee. So why not try out a new tea, especially if it's a detox tea, who doesn't wanna try new detox teas? So this is the 14 day fat burn blend. And then this one is the 14 day detox blend. So this is the one that's gonna make you use the restroom. And this one's the one that's gonna give you the energy and also suppress your appetite and help you burn fat. Now, as far as the taste of these two teas, I would compare it to Timmy Tea's tea. I feel like they both have like a green tea taste to it. When I drank these teas, I did not add any type of honey or sugar just because I am used to tea and I don't need that extra sweetness added to it. But if you're not a tea drinker, I was just maybe putting a little bit of honey or sugar into the tea. These are loose teas, so you will need to have a strainer to put the loose tea in. And I did receive a strainer when I received this. So if you decide to order this, I would definitely purchase that strainer. If not, you can always go to Walmart or Target and purchase a strainer on your own. Now, as far as if I lost any weight, if I saw any results on this tea, I only lost half a pound, honestly, and it could be because I was not on a strict diet, nor was I really working out. So that could have played a major factor in the reason why I only lost half a pound. Now, this isn't a magical tea that's just going to magically let you lose weight. You have to put in the work, you have to exercise, you have to eat healthy and be on a healthy diet. And because since I was not on a healthy diet, nor was I working out as much, that's probably why I only lost half a pound. But Half a pound is half a pound. Now, as far as this detox tea, I feel like it worked well, worked like how it was supposed to. It made me use the restroom. It didn't give me any cramping or stomach pains. And I didn't use the restroom for the entire day. I would only use the restroom one time and that was it. And then this one is the fat burn blend. It's supposed to suppress your appetite, help you burn fat and give you energy. Um, as far as energy for this one, I don't know if my body's just immune to having a lot of caffeine because I do drink a lot of coffee. I don't feel like it really gave me that much energy, but I do feel like it suppressed my appetite just a little bit. And then the detox blend, like I said, it did make me use the restroom and I feel like this is what helps with my bloating and making my stomach look flatter than what it did before. So at the end of two weeks, I would say this is a good tea. I would say my two favorite detox teas would be Thin Tea and also Teamy Tea, just because I've seen better results with those teas. I've tried so many other detox tea. I've tried Flat Tummy Tea, and I've tried um, just like over-the-counter ones that you can find like at your local grocery store or GNC, and none of them really worked. None of them even made me use the restroom, but Thin Tea and Teamy Tea both work really well. They both have really great taste to them. So if you guys are looking for a new detox tea to try out, I would definitely try out Thin Tea. It tastes really good and I feel like it is effective. You will see a difference in your stomach and I feel like if you are on a strict diet and also working out, your results will be much better than what my results are. So overall, I do like this tea and I have about half a bag left in each of these. So I will continue to drink this tea just because I like the taste and I have seen a little bit of results from it. So why not finish the bags off? So that is my review for this Thin Tea Detox. I hope you guys enjoyed my day in the life vlog and also my review on this tea. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so you will be notified anytime I upload a video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.